Beaton's photograph of the Queen on Coronation Day has become almost an iconic photograph. We have the Queen, who's only 27 years old at the time, very young Queen, but seated there with the crown, with all the state regalia, and this extraordinary uh, painted backdrop behind her, designed to look like Westminster Abbey. And it, it's a wonderful, dramatic photograph. And then the much more informal 1972 photograph of her on Britannia. It's a really unguarded moment, actually. It's a very surprising photograph. I think it's partly because the Queen was relaxed with Litchfield taking the photograph because she knew him, but it's also because at this point on the Royal Yacht, they were crossing the equator, it's on a Far Eastern tour. And crossing the equator, there was always a ceremony when somebody was uh, soaped up and thrown into the swimming pool. It happened on this occasion to be Litchfield himself, and he was in the swimming pool with a waterproof camera. When he came out of the water, he saw the Queen laughing at him, and he just took the photograph at exactly the right moment. The photograph of, of the Queen with the Duke in profile, amazing shot, and that's Litchfield again, yes? So the Golden Jubilee in 2002 was an occasion when a number of very formal portraits were taken. This again was a Litchfield photograph, but it contrasts, of course, with the very informal photographs of earlier. This one, a very formal side profile of the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh, designed to capture, I suppose, the formality of the event itself. And finally, again very informally, the Queen with her ponies. It, it's taken at Windsor, a place that the Queen loves, and she's with her horses again, which is something that is very close to the Queen's heart. So we really get a, a glimpse, I think, of, of the Queen as an individual here.